Hi everyone. So this is a haul that has been a long time coming. <laughs> what I'm about to show you are items that I purchased from the bin stores here in uh, my hometown. Now a bin store is basically like an Amazon return store. So um, these are all the items that everybody is returning and a lot of the sellers, you know, will turn around and they will just um, sell them in, on pallets like the items they're not going to sorry that was my cord they're not going to resell them okay so these stores will buy pallets upon pallets and then they will um, in turn put them out and the way that they usually work is like on a friday all of the um that week's items will be put out and on that date everything in the store could be like seven or eight dollars doesn't matter what it is. I mean, people have found Nintendo Switches, PS5s, you know, um, laptops, iPads, you know, um, AirPods, you know, cell phones, like really big ticketed items. And then, um, you know, other things like uh, humidifiers to uh, iRobot, you know, vacuum cleaners, you know, just a, an assortment of things. Okay, so the things that I tend to go for, um, well, actually, what this um, video is going to be about is going to be about the craft items that I find there. This could be like craft items, junk journal supplies, you name it. Okay, and I'm going to be showing you stuff in no particular order because there's a lot of them. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I have here is, um, let me go ahead and get it in focus, are some uh, Pigma Microns. And these are 00 0.5. These are the colors. Focus. Okay. I believe I got this pack for six bucks. Uh, I haven't looked on Amazon to see how much they're actually worth. But um, yeah, I picked those up. Um, I also picked up a pack of, um, uh, what do you want to call these? Like spiral notebooks. And they're dot. Yeah, they're dot. Now, I like these because I was using them to test out my fountain pens, and oh my god, the um, there's not much bleeding, as you can see. So, these are going to be great for journaling in with my um, fountain pens. I also found this. I've been seeing a lot of these wall collage kits. Now, this one in particular is um, anime, which I thought was pretty interesting. Hold on here. I'm trying to figure out how to open it. So, um, there's been a lot I've seen, you know, mostly by either theme or color. Um, this is just one of them. So as you can see here, it's a Sailor Moon from the manga. So most of these are actually, it says anime, but it's actually manga. So, you know, I just thought this was really interesting. I like anime and manga so that's why i went ahead and picked it up um i probably got this for seven dollars i think i'm not sure okay so this right here i picked up this case now it was labeled as a korean idol case i guess you collect the cards of your favorite idols but i knew that this would be perfect for my atcs i'm not going to go through all of the atcs but as you can see there's quite a lot um and I have much more room to spare um, to you know fill up. So I got that. I found this washi. Focus. I'm gonna take it out. I might have already featured these. I can't remember if I did. I've been holding off and using it because I wanted to film this video. So it's these two washies, okay, which are really pretty. They're big. So, um, yeah, I like these kind of washies. Um, this I found again. I think I got this for $6, this whole bag for 6 So basically it would be like, like I said, 7 or 8 on a, a Friday. And then Saturday, depending on the store, it could be $5 or $6. Sunday it would be $4. Monday it would be $2. Uh, Tuesday it would be one dollar and then Wednesday it would be 50 cents now one store they're open on Thursday so I think on Mondays it's three dollars and then two dollars and then one dollar and then 50 cents so um, yeah so I got this whole set here 
of like uh, stickers for about six bucks, right? I don't know how much it is on Amazon. I have yet to look to see how much that would sell for, but probably I'm sure I got a deal. I know that I found this for five bucks. It's one of those junk journal sets on um, Amazon. I think, yeah, there are two sets on here. And I know that this goes for probably $10 each. So I got that. I'm eager to use it. Um, I had featured in a past video that I had found an A5 Motum um, planner, ring planner. And I saw these one day and these were just $2. So they're just um, index or dividers. And I thought it would be really pretty in there. I didn't know that it was it came in a pack of two because it was already sealed when I got it. So that's actually a pretty good deal. Um, this one right here, I got this for $5. It's a pack of four and they are um, really pretty paper. What I didn't know was in the middle when I bought this was that there's stickers. So that's an even better deal. I mean, all of this for five bucks. So here, I'm gonna take it out because I definitely want to start using this. So I tried to look it up on um, Amazon to see how much it was worth. Oh my God, it's gonna be hard to take out. Hold on, it's the only way I can get it to come out. Okay, there we go. Throw this here. All right, so here are the stickers. There's obviously a theme, the rose themed, okay? And then these are various papers. Now the papers are a little bit different than what's on the inside, but the image is pretty much the same. So I think there's like a pack of 50, but they're really pretty. They're kind of, they're actually memo pads, but it's still good to use, you know, in your journal. Let me just move this here. Um, this is another collage kit. I might've featured this, I'm not sure, but this one is all vintage um, or not, yeah like botanical, really, really pretty. I'm not gonna put these up on the wall. I'll probably reuse them in some way. Then I have here, this I got for $2. I need to take that sticker off. But this is actually watercolor paper. And um, I couldn't resist, I mean, it's $2 and it's a really nice notebook. You know, there's the brand, Linden Art. So I do want to learn how to watercolor. This one I was so happy to find and I found this for $4. And these are all um, stickers. So yeah, excited to use that. Found these sticky memos. Um, they are different animals. So we've got a cat, hold on, there we go. Cat, I think that's a penguin. Bear, mouse, pig, and corgi. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna move, I'm gonna turn this over so it doesn't focus on it so much, okay? Um, I also find like these type of supplies. This one is, uh, it's, uh, um, these are watercolors. Um, I know this goes for, yeah, it's pretty pricey, but this is, I don't think this has ever been used. Look at that. Yeah, it's never been used. So it goes, I'll be able to use it with that album that I bought when I do decide that I want to start watercoloring. So this I got for probably $4. Okay. Um, I know I have another one here, but I was able to find, oh wow, look at that, midliners pack of three, okay? So this comes with, I already have midliners, but you know, it's been a while since I've used them and I hope they haven't dried up. So if they have, well, I have more. Um, and I also have the natural one. I don't know where it is, I have to find it, but um, I found it individually. So I have these three right here and then, oh, sorry, it's not in focus. Hold on, there we go. Um, like I said, I have the natural color set. It's somewhere here. Um, and I got that one, like I said, uh, on its own. And I believe I got that for $4. Let me see, what else? 
Um, I might give this to my niece, one of my nieces. It's a 2022 journal. You know, this was like, I think a dollar. Um, I know I have another pack somewhere, but these are dies that I got for, how much did I get these for? $5, I think. And you can tell I haven't even opened it yet. So let's go ahead and take it out. Um, I don't always find dies. And um, when I do, it's always like underneath everything. I'm the type of bin shopper that will go and look under everything because I think that the best stuff is at the bottom. So I'm not sure what this is. I thought like maybe kind of like a Polaroid, but I don't know. I'm gonna have to um, use it. I do like this, this little do doily here. But yeah, it was just pretty interesting that they had that. Here is another washi set. This entire thing I got for freaking $6, shockingly enough. Um, so yeah, so they usually come packaged, you know, like this, but mostly in this um, green, I think I have something here with that. It's got that green bag that um, a lot of stuff tends to come in, small stuff. So I'm just gonna pull out some stuff here. So this one obviously is focus. There we go. Um, dessert themed. A lot of it's pink, which I'm not into pink, but hey, I'll find a use for it. I got, looks like some fruit and vegetables. They're just random. It'll be interesting to use these. Um, actually, I'm going to put them over here. Everything's going to pile up. I had to clear off this um, filming desk because I was putting everything here that I had to film and then now I'm gonna have to clear it off yet again. So we got the last sets here. Okay. All right. Not done yet with a washi. I found this set recently and I was so excited. These are the Sayin washi. And look at that, I got eight for $6. It was like at the bottom, like I said, underneath everything. And um, yeah, super excited that I found that. Because I know that that's a pricey individually. I know that Little Craft Place sell, uh, sells those. Here's more washi. This one I got for $4. This whole set. I think there was one roll missing that I couldn't find it. I kept looking. And this is the biggest thing that I hate about the bin stores that people just rip open stuff and then throw it, you know, throw it back on the bin. And then sometimes you can't find, you'll find the box, but you can't find the items, you know? So these are really cute. It's like, Lord knows I don't need more washi, but you know, at least I didn't order it. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna leave that off and yet, more washi. Got this set too. I believe this was four dollars as well. It's a lot of foil, but some of them are pretty. I don't know what the brand is. Oh, here we go. Well, I, th I think they sell these on um, on Amazon. I know I've seen this theme before. Okay, sorry. Out of focus there. <laughs> I don't know why this is in there. This is. <laughs> I must have thrown this in there by mistake. It was like a Japanese, um, see here's the, what the, the bags look like that they sometimes come in. Oh, this was like almost like a Pantene type of book, but it was in Japanese. And I just thought it would be interesting to tear up. So that was like on dollar day. Nobody knew what that was, so they didn't buy it. Um, I found, I tend to see a lot of these kind of pouches. And this one I got for a dollar. Um, so you can see, it's like a pencil case, very roomy, as you can see, and the color, I like the color, it's mint. Yeah, so we got that. More of the um, collage cards. This is aesthetic, it's basically just um, shows, TV shows and um, movies. So there's 50 pieces. This one I love. See, here it is. It's in this type of packaging, right? 
So let me take them out. I actually used one sheet already because I couldn't wait. So it's this. Focus. Oops. Okay. So there's one. Um, well, I'm trying to figure out what the theme is for each of them. Now it says retro cloth material paper. So um, this is what it looks like on the inside. So we've got, look at that. It's like almost like some of it's like wallpaper. Uh, I don't think this is all just animal print, is it? No, it's not. Yeah, so you can see. So this is really great for um, my junk journals or like when I'm, you know, doing collage work. So, and I think I got this for $4. And it was buried under a lot of stuff. It's funny because there's a lot of people that they don't know. I guess they don't craft. They're going for the big ticket items. They're always going in the looking for at the big boxes and what's in there and all that jazz. But I'm not bothered. I mean, I don't want to bother with having to get the boxes opened um, at the box opening station. But sometimes you have to wait a while because these fools will have like a big giant shopping cart of stuff, you know possibly up to 15 items and that's just annoying that you have to stand there and wait for them to get those boxes opened. So I got this as well. And these are those ephemera flakes. So somebody's going to get a set of these. <coughs> Where's that? <laughs> um, and this as well. And these are stickers. So we got the vintage look here and that's what they look like, these type of images. So got that. What else? Oh, I found this and I thought this would be really good for crafting. I got this on $2 day. Was it $2 or $1 day? And they had several of these sets, but I don't know. I just thought that they were very interesting. So that's what they, the cards look like and they would be good for a junk journal as well. Um, I found this, which I plan on giving to one of my friends. It's like some kind of like a budget planner of some sort. See, that was on $1 a day. And then I found this, which is supposed to hold, I guess like, yeah, like your journal and stuff. So you can see it's got pockets. You can have it stand up, you know carry your stuff there's more pockets on the back and it can hook onto something I thought that was so cute and like I said I found this for a dollar so then I found this notebook stamping set now I did purchase this when it was like four dollar day and you know sometimes it's a hit and miss for me for the most part it's always a hit uh, I would say Sometimes it could be one out of 20 items that I buy that it, it was a dud, you know, but it's okay. Cause I mean, I'm not really spending a lot, but this one I bought cause I knew it was like one of those stamping pot platforms, right? I've never heard of this brand, but I'm going to probably have to clean it up. But you can see whoever returned this, they returned it used like, so it's, it's definitely used. Um, but it is a stamping platform. I already have the Tim Holtz one, which I love, um, but I thought this would be a, a good backup. So yeah. And let me see what else I have here. I think that's it. I probably have a couple more things somewhere <laughs> that I wasn't able to find in time for this video, but that's okay. Just for the most part, I mean, this is, only a fraction of the kind of stuff that I've been finding. I've found a lot of like mechanical keyboards, if you're into that, the keycaps, you know, I've, I've stocked up on like, oh my God, USB-C cords, chargers, a lot of like fast chargers, even laptop chargers. I mean, I'm not buying like a ton of them. I just have like, you know, a backup. Um, I've gotten my whole family, like a lot of phone chargers, a lot of power banks. Um, so now we're good when it comes to, um, if we have like a storm or something and we lose power. Uh, I have bought um, 
like you know those portable fans for the summertime when it's really hot here i mean there's just just a lot of stuff like today i was able to find a freaking and i don't even know where i put it now oh let me go and grab it really quick it's um it's not craft related but um this item happens to be like almost a hundred dollars on amazon um because i looked it up i knew what it was right away and I do find some photography stuff. So I found this stand up. And I mean, eventually I know I plan on getting an R, an EOS R, EOS R um, DSLR for, from Canon. I'm a Canon girl. So um, this, I'll be able to use the old um, lenses for my um, DSLR with the, the new one that I plan on getting. Oh. So it's basically an EOS, um, what was it now? Here it is. An EOS EF, EFS, which I have a lot, I think I have two of those, um, to the R mount. So I can reuse those. So yeah, I mean, these are the kind of things that I find. And I got this one today for $7. So you can see, I saved a lot of money. So um, yeah, oh, so here's another item that I found <laughs> for $7. But anyways, that is my craft haul, junk journal, whatever you want to call it. And now I have to clean up this mess. So I hope everybody enjoyed this um, bin, you know, store haul. And I will see you on the next video. All right. Bye-bye.